my soul to the devil. I know it's a crappy deal. This it came with a few toys like a happy meal. You know what was going on in my life at 15 and that's how I got introduced to the music industry. I swear I wanted to be like the Amy Grant of music. Yeah. <laughs> but it didn't work out and so I sold my soul to the devil. Uh, how it came about being a lyricist is, is weird because I started out technically, like I used to write all the time, you know, before I started uh, going into the Rain Man thing, you know. Why do you still do it? Why are you still out here? Well, it goes back to the destiny thing. I, mean, I made a bargain with it, you know, a long time ago, and I'm holding up my hand. What was your bargain? To get where um, I am now. Sh should I ask who you made the bargain with? <laughs> with, 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 you know, with the chief, uh, chief commander. On this earth? <laughs> and on this earth, and, in, uh, and then in a world we can't see. You're exposed to so many things if you choose to be. You have access to any and everything, and you have a lot of people that tell you everything you do is wonderful. And that sounds great, but that is the worst thing in the world because you lose your spirit and you lose your soul. When I performed Crazy in Love at the BT Awards, it was almost like my coming out. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for my girl, Beyonce! very nervous of course and I remember when they told me I was performing on BET in my mind I saw the set immediately I said I want something big I want something that says I'm here Beyonce <laughs> it was way better than than I expected and Sasha was in full effect Sasha is my alter ego. And when people see me, sometimes I think that when they meet me and they speak with me, they're expecting Sasha. And um, I'm really kind of shy, and not really shy, but more reserved and um, nothing like Sasha. But. I guess I wouldn't be very entertaining on the stage, so Sasha comes out, <laughs> and she's fearless. You know, she can she can do things that I cannot do when I'm in rehearsal. I mean, I can try, but then it just doesn't happen. I can sing notes and sing strong and do all these things that when I'm just by myself, I can't do. And I remember right before I performed, I raised my hands up. And it was kind of the first time I, I felt something else come into me. And I knew that was going to be my coming out night for the BET Awards. If your ultimate goal is to be famous, then you're going to do a lot to, do, to get there, like sign your name in blood in a contract with the devil. Like you're going to end up in a, on a one-way street and it's going nowhere. Like that's just the truth. I've seen, I've seen so many people like forsake their, their, their moral code and their value systems just for a little bit of fame and it's, it's not worth it at the end of the day. It's really not. <laughs> Why is your hand over your eye? Because I'm, I'm a devil worshiper. What are you talking about? It's exactly what I've been yearning for. Give it to me strong.
with your songs? Is it pen to paper? Are you sitting at the piano? It's whenever. Whenever it comes. <laughs> whenever the views. Praise God, whenever it comes. Because creativity for me is like, it's religious. What it do, baby boy? Yeah, little mama, you looking good. I see you wanna play with. What it do, baby boy? Yeah, little mama, you looking good. I see you wanna play with a player from the hood. Come holler at me, you got it like that. Big Snoop Dogg with the lead pussy cat.
I've always had a fondness for white silk scarves. They're good for all occasions. Have you ever fucked on cocaine, Nick? Exactly 3 a.m. 3 a.m. is the demonic witching hour. It's a way for demons to mock the Holy Trinity. It's an inversion of 3 p.m., the miracle hour, which is traditionally accepted as the hour of Christ's death.
this close they talking about there's no evidence that I ever sodomized but even though you put that all over the paper and every time they take a quote out of this courtroom they take a quote from out of her mouth which is you know the stuff to put me in jail it's nothing that's been true I just want print the facts so everybody can sort it out my life is ruined because nobody has a chance to get the facts that there was no semen no found No semen found no forceful entry no entry into the anal no nothing none of that you know and no fingerprints on the no gun fingerprints on the guns you know what i'm saying what is your response to the, the allegations that were were brought by the district attorney in santa barbara that you you molested this boy totally false before i would hurt a child i would slip my wrist I would never hurt a child. This is totally false. I was outraged. I could never do something like that. This is all about my image. This has nothing to do with me. This is all about my image. It's like MTV, all the papers, they're building me up. Now they're destroying me on the same image that they perpetuated. Thank you for, you know, giving me the opportunity to be heard, you know, in, in a positive light. Yeah. Well, just in a fair light. I, I first came to Arizona, man, and um, I remember one day coming from the studio at 6 o'clock in the morning and pulling over on the highway. We had like four cars, you know, just to watch the sunrise. And it was at that point that I fell in love with, God, with um, Arizona. I said, you know what, this has to be God's country, you know, because I've never seen anything as beautiful as that sunrise. Then I met the devil in God's country. You know, and, uh, um, it's not so much who, it, it's what, you know, what happens and, and the things that the devil does. It's not so much a person, even though he, he acts through people. You know, you can't call one person the devil. Joe Arpaio? You know, you can't call any one person the devil. You can't do that because no one person has enough power to be the devil, you know. And, um, you know, it's, it's, it's through all these hardships that I realized that, you know what, this is God's country because I met the devil here. Because if I hadn't met the devil here, I wouldn't realize I was strong enough to overcome the obstacles that the devil would place in my path. And it's by overcoming these obstacles that I realized that this is God's country because he helped me get over these obstacles. He helped me get over these hurdles. Okay, so but when you're done here, when yeah, you're out of here. I'm not, I'm, I'm, I'm not looking back. You're not coming back? No, I'm not coming back. I'm not coming back for a show. I'm not coming back for a visit. I, I'm not even driving through the states. If I'm in a plane and they're gonna fly over, I'm gonna go around, okay? <laughs> you deserve the same grace. You know, whether I know you or not, I pray for my friends, family, loved ones, and as well as my enemies every night, you know, because we're all God's children. We're all God's children and we all deserve the same grace. I think people are curious how a guy, you've sold how many records? 28 million. And made millions and millions of dollars. Yeah. 
How did you end up in here? <laughs> I think <laughs> I think everyone who's watching knows how I ended up in here. I don't know if they do. I'm pretty sure they do. Anytime you get it, I'm pretty sure they do. You know, there's this. How do I end up in here? Hmm. Why you keep going back to Miami? Yeah. Well, I have a fiance in Miami, and I have a new, um, I have a baby, three months. Yep. I miss my, I miss all my kids, man. I miss my kids. That's the hardest part about this. I miss my kids. But um. Do they come and see you? No, they, they're in school and stuff like that, you know. My, um, my baby will be here in a couple of days, though. My baby will be here in a couple of days. My baby will be here. Don't judge me. Well, you shouldn't judge anyone. But, 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 but don't, 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 don't. Have an assumption on who I am until you've met me. Vista de comparecencia inicial. Señoras y señores, esta es la vista de comparecencia inicial del condado de Maricopa. El propósito de esta vista es explicarles las acusaciones en su contra de...
let me ask you this. What is happening in Hollywood that a guy that tough will be on the street waving a gun, screaming, they are trying to kill me? Yeah. What's going on? Why is Dave Chappelle going to Africa? Why does Mariah Carey make a hundred million dollar deal and take clothes off on TRL? If a weak person cannot get to sit here and talk to you. Ain't no weak people talking to you. So what is happening in Hollywood? Nobody knows. The worst thing to call somebody is crazy, is dismissive. I don't understand this person, so they're crazy. That's bullshit. These people are not crazy, they're strong people. Maybe the environment is a little sick. You've had a year that would test a lot of people. Mm -hmm. Illness in the family, mm -hmm. a breakup, this spasm of publicity about what happened in, from Mexico to London. It was pretty rough, yeah. Um, yeah, it's kind of weird. Ah, weird. Hello. Um, Oh my goodness, hello. Ew, strong Brittany. Um, yeah, it was a weird time. Ew, I'm in the first, can we Is this a mushroom trip? I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I said this footage is worth money. Why? What footage? This thing you're looking into? It's a camera. Exactly. 